Okay, so let's talk about the next one. Okay, in on the next page, uh, when we talk about this uh, TTL logic family, okay, we give you an example. Eh. We actually zoom in uh, to what's inside the gate. Eh. In what I mean, zoom in and go and see what's inside. Actually, the gate itself uh, has a lot of transistors eh, and a bit of circuits inside. You can see over here. Eh. Yeah. I'm actually at page uh, one. Is it the study guide? Oh, I'm actually at the notes eh? mm -hmm. on page twenty six. Page twenty six, huh? Huh? Which are all strings? Huh? So Oh, you're doing it now, okay, okay. Come on. <laughs> I show you what you have. Eh. You're doing this, huh? Oh, this one we used to. Do we have? Oh, you're not very simplified. Uh, go to page 25. Eh. I think Mr. Bernard took out this one. Eh. Page 25. You all have the simpler version. We used to teach this one. Eh? Oh. Well, last time you all don't have this one. Okay, yeah. right. Yeah, right. Don't look at this one. Eh? You all get frightened. Yeah, I see you all can simplify. Eh? Okay, never mind. Don't look at this one first. Ah. Never mind. You look at your page 25. Eh? Page 25, right? Now, what you see, right, is this thing called the uh, totem pole. Ah. This funny name, eh? Oh, totem pole. Yeah, I think I should have. Eh? So turn the thing towards you. Eh? Yeah, this one, eh? Yeah, eh? Hang in. Okay, similar, eh? This one. Okay, now what you will see, right? Yeah, thanks. What you all see on this picture, on page 25, uh, okay, is the circuit that you have, right? Everybody has the same page, uh, done. Okay, now what happens is this, uh, what they are showing you, right, is that what happens when you have the gates are connected, uh, that means very much like, just now I show you, this is the driver, this one is the load, uh, okay? So you, when you interconnect them, right, actually internally, they look something like this. There's some uh, gates, uh, transistors inside, okay? So when you connect, like this okay now this is called a totem pole output uh. yeah ptl totem pole very funny name uh. yeah. totem pole t o t e n uh. don't ask me why they use this name probably name after somebody who discover this thing okay called totem pole yeah totem pole. i don't know why they come up with this name but anyway Okay, what it means is that when you have uh, this kind of output, uh, when you have this, right? Okay, now it is not advisable to short them together. Okay, now this this configuration, right? Actually, is not very good. Eh? Okay, I'll explain why. Eh? Because the gate itself usually we prefer this thing called open collector. Now, if you're a transistor, right? Can you tell me where is the collector? Eh? Is this a collector? Oh God, eh? this is, this is oh God, eh? Where is the emitter? The arrow. The arrow here, right? So this is the emitter. Huh? Right. This is the base of the transistor, right? This is the collector. Okay, so same thing. Emitter, base, collector. Huh? Okay, same thing. Eh? Now what happens if you have a circuit like this? Huh? If you represent this thing. Okay, now if you shot them like that. Okay, imagine this is the... The gate output, uh, this is the gate input. Eh. When you short them like that, it's quite it's not advisable because it, it could be a case where inside internally uh, it's, the, it's all by transistor, you know. You can turn on the transistor and off it. Okay? Now if you have a situation like this uh, when you have alternate pairs of transistor switch on, uh, you're actually gonna sync the current uh, driving down to this. Eh. Yeah, sinking, you are sinking the current. Now, this is not advisable because you will damage your gate. Yeah, it will damage the gate. Huh? You will 
fry the chips. Okay. Yeah. Potato chips. Now. Yeah. When y'all do next time, maybe you may be doing some projects, huh? When you feel the the IC are uh, very hot, huh? Then you better switch off the supply. That means something is happening. Anything heat, huh? Means SSC. Means a lot of current pass through the thing actually will damage. Usually, when it's very hot, means it's gone already. Gone case. So this is the recommended way. This is not the recommended way. Now, so what I'm trying to show you is this thing. Now, let's say you have a you have a dengue. Okay, you have a dengue. So basically, this one, right? Uh, it will be better. Okay. Be better now. Of course, this is a really an exaggerated figure. Okay, you have a negative. Okay, now there's this thing called the next thing is called this open collector. Now, open collector gates, right, has this very unique uh, symbol. Yeah, there is a diamond shape. Uh. Uh, okay, if you if you look at Page 42, uh. can you take a look at 42? Can I see your... Can I see your 42? You will see this symbol uh, of the gate, right? There's this diamond shape thing. Uh, you see? Uh? Yep. You see something like this? Yes. There's this diamond shape uh, symbol. Uh. Right, this symbol, right? This symbol represent is the open collector. Now, what does it mean? Okay, you should see this figure, this symbol. What it means is this. Okay, open collector. Okay, open collector. But what does it mean? Eh? So what? Eh? So what is open collector? Open collector means, uh, okay. Open collector means I'm going to take out this part here. This whole part removed because it's open. Open the collector is here, right? When I say open collector, means that this collector is not connected to anything. So this one will be removed. So what you see is just a transistor. Okay. This part is open. Okay, that is the meaning. The transistor's collector part is open circuit. Yeah, come this. Get across. <laughs> now what it means is this eh? it means that your your gate output right you are supposed to connect yourself eh, an external resistor to pull up the voltage eh? okay it is yeah you need this thing called the external pull up resistor to operate your circuit eh? which is a good thing because you are not going to draw power from your own gate okay which means that this one right I'm just showing you the last point of the gate. This is the terminal output, I imagine. This point here, uh, this gate here, right, is actually referring to the, the point here. The output, yeah, correct. Actually, it's this point. Uh, actually, this one is this one. To be precise, uh, this one is actually this point here. Yeah. No matter y'all can visualize. Yeah, that's the point. This is the point. Okay, this transistor is actually going to be here. The collector here is actually tied to the output. That's what it means. Eh? So basically, what happens is that if you want to use this, right, you need to use a pull up resistor RP to connect your circuit, which is a good way because you can protect your gate here. 
Union, which is external resistor. Okay, using this thing called the Coulomb resistor RP. Yes, it's to protect your logic uh, gate. Yes, yes, correct. Now, if you take a look at, say, page uh, 39, can you please look at page 39? You have this example, eh? page 39, yeah, correct. Okay, it shows you a uh, inverter, right? Uh, lecture work example 7, page 39. Okay, so what happened is that uh, you what you can see on that figure, right? You see this uh, inverter, right? Inverter trying to drive a LED. Okay, we will tell you that this gate is an open collector. Okay, open collector, which means that you need to put in your own resistor. Right? Okay, you need to put a resistor here. Look at uh, page 39. The symbol there is an LED. Uh. Let me redraw for you. Uh. So if I want to quickly redraw this portion here, it looks something like this. So this is an LED. If I want to drive this LED, uh, okay, I must make sure that the resistor is in place. So typical uh, question in the exam uh, is to calculate the resistor value. Very much like the word example 7. Eh? Yes, use the KVL, correct. 